Good evening. You are watching India News Stream. This is Sana Aziz with today's news headlines. The Supreme Court today gave a split verdict in the hijab case, while one judge said wearing hijab was a matter of choice and set aside the Karnataka High Court judgment that upheld the ban on wearing the head scarf by Muslim girls imposed by educational institutions in Karnataka. The other judge dismissed pleas against the High Court order, saying allowing religious symbols in schools goes against secularism. Soon after the Supreme Court delivered a split verdict on the Karnataka hijab matter, State Minister for Power, Kannada and Culture V. Sunil Kumar today said the question of reversal of ban order does not arise. The Enforcement Directorate has filed a prosecution complaint against journalist Jana Ayub in connection with the prevention of money laundering case lodged against her for misusing funds collected in the name of help and charity through a website. A court has ordered that a case should be registered against seven Noida policemen, including a station house officer. The Kerala police probe team, which earlier this week arrested three persons in the case of suspected human sacrifice of two women in Pathan Mitta district, today decided to probe the case of 12 missing women. Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif today said that he was absolutely willing and ready to engage with India for the sake of regional peace and prosperity, but the onus was on New Delhi to take the necessary measures for meaningful and result-oriented engagement. External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar today spoke to his Gambian counterpart Dr. Mamadou Thangara and conveyed condolences on the deaths of young children allegedly linked to the contaminated cough syrups produced in India. The Iranian nuclear chief has confirmed media reports that Iran has begun enriching uranium with the third cascade of new centrifuges at its Natanz underground facilities. Russia has threatened World War III if its foe Ukraine is granted membership into NATO. In a horrific incident, a 20-year-old woman college student was today pushed in front of a train at St. Thomas Mount Railway Station in Chennai after a heated argument with a man and crushed to death. That's all for now. We'll come back with more news updates shortly.